Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. We are here today in the beautiful, sunny Leonard Street Labs in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where we're going to do a cool experiment. Okay, we've got a bunch of these chairs right here. These came with the building and we've used them for a couple of years. They suck. These are, these are really crappy chairs and they're really old, beat up chairs. You can see the logo on the bottom. They're made by Brody sometime about a million years ago, judging by the logo. I like, I like the little asterisk. That's your Kurt Vonnegut asterisk right there. If you don't get the joke, read a book. All right, um, we're gonna recycle these chairs. So we figured we'd do something cool before we, we recycled them. The, the neat feature of these chairs is that to store them, you stack them like that, and they nest, and they stack nice and straight. Well, we want to see how straight they stack. We want to see how high we can stack the chairs. We've had them in stacks like this high, no problem. So we want to see how high we can stack these before something bad happens. And we want to know what that something bad will be. And we figure that something bad will probably destroy the chairs, but we don't care because we're going to recycle them anyway. So to do this experiment, we needed a big space. So we're out in the back lot at the Geek Group. And we need the Soviet skateboard of science. I need to paint this red. <laughs> this is our Soviet skateboard. It weighs about a thousand pounds. It's on these giant casters and it just gives us a nice flat platform because we're out in full sun today and the parking lot will get soft in the sun and if we stack up a big pile of chairs they might dig down into the, the parking lot so I wanted to prevent that. So we're doing this on a big like I don't know three it's inch thick steel plate. So since we're doing legitimate science here, this is totally legit science, you get to follow along at home. I want you to form a hypothesis. How high will the chairs stack? How many chairs before something bad happens? And in what way is it going to fail? Are they just going to tip over? Are the legs going to explode out from under it and it all just falls down in a big stack? What's going to happen? Because you understand the basics of what we're doing. So from that, form a hypothesis, and then together we'll do the experiment, and then we'll gauge our results at the end. This is a fundamental principle of science, and it's fun because we get to break things and play outside in the sun. And it's springtime, and I'm loving that. So, let's do some science. Time is 1238.51. That's chair number one. Two! Ah, ah, ah. All right, Batman, start putting them on. So we're at 10 chairs now, and it's achieved the point where it's too tall to stack them on. So now we get to break out heavy equipment, and we're going to use the forklift to start adding chairs on. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
definitely developing a list of pork. Another count? I don't think anyone else is counting. Okay. All right. Now, our, our center of mass is coming out. I think it's going to fall over that way. Yeah, I can't correct it. All right, hold right there, Moose. Next. started coming at me and I was like, I'm just gonna push it to the side. All right, on down. Nine, 30, confirmed for me. 29 and 30 for the home run. All right, so the official answer was 30. The legs on the bottom didn't bend, they didn't explode out. I'm really amazed by that because there's gotta be a lot of weight. That's hundreds of pounds of chairs. And this little tiny quarter 20 bolt on the bottom of the foot did just fine. Survived the whole thing. That's really impressive. So and the chair looks like it'll fall and, out. and the bottom chair. It's just fine. So if you need to buy serious quality office chairs. You might want to see if Brody is still in business. I, I've never heard of them, so I don't know if they're out there, but that's the company. Brody Chairs, the Brody Seating Company in Chicago, Illinois. So you guys make a seriously good chair. Doesn't have the date of delivery on here, which kind of sucks, because I'd really, it's, there's a spot for date of delivery, but it doesn't say when it was. But that, is an impressively good chair. I, I gotta give him credit, Brody makes good chairs. All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. Thank you for hanging out with us today at The Geek Group. You learn more at thegeekgroup.org where you can become a member or just come on over to Grand Rapids and come say hi. We're at 902 Leonard Northwest in the beautiful west side of Grand Rapids, Michigan. You guys have fun as always. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.